The following day, some of the team are still shaken by the apparent events during the previous night's seance. First and foremost, this is probably the most exciting seance we've ever had. Um, I've seen some mads go into some sort of characters before now. Uh, I've never seen anything like this one. This was something else. Um, and you had that feeling there. You know, it was f times that, you know, the energy sitting around you, it made your hair stand on end. The story that I believe um, that he was, he was trying to put over was the fact that he had been um, so accused of murdering somebody by punching them and they'd been f and gone over the fly tower. Now, to me, that suggests that it couldn't have been an actor. It's actually somebody backstage, somebody who works backstage, doing the rigging or whatever. And the, obviously, this guy died. It, it was either an accident or he wasn't even involved and just got totally accused of it. How much of that were you aware of? N not much at all. You'd need to speak to the others. Um, I feel this was really my responsibility. Um, we'd been hanging around all day, not really doing any work. Um, i.e. spiritual work and we weren't investigating we were we were just hanging around basically all day and you know I'd become sort of agitated by that and so I knew that we were in a theatre um, I'd felt on the walk around that, that there was a presence up there so if you like I was very naughty and I evoked that spirit I asked that spirit to come into me and that is exactly what happened I didn't wait for the set circle um, protection. We didn't have a prayer. I just went straight for it. Um, and we suffered the consequences. But could it have been the group's beliefs at work rather than the spirits? Now it's very interesting that at one point Maz appears in a state of possession apparently to be about to throw herself off the balcony and all the others naturally enough try and stop her from doing that. Now, I mean, it's, it's very interesting to ask the question, what would have happened if none of them had responded that way? Would she have actually done it? Now, I'll have to put my hands up here and say, you know, I don't actually know. It really does depend on the degree to which she was involved in the role that she was actually engaged in there. It may have been that she might have actually gone so far as that. I suspect she probably wouldn't, to be perfectly honest. I think there'd be some of the dramatic interruption, I mean, you know, there's all sorts of things that could have happened in that context. She might have just frozen, or she might have collapsed, or all sorts of things would have happened. But I don't think that she would have actually come to any harm. I mean, in these kind of situations, there are lots of kinds of unspoken rules. In the, in the old days, when the original Victorian seances used to take place, it was claimed that if anyone attempted to touch the medium during the actual seance, then the medium would die. And in fact, needless to say, there are no cases on record where that actually happened. But yeah. I think we don't know how Maz would have actually reacted if she hadn't been stopped. But everybody was so involved in playing their roles in that situation that there was probably very little danger that that would actually take place. With the investigation virtually over, Researcher Susie is unable to unearth any evidence of a death from the fly tower. And despite 24-hour surveillance, the cameras also fail to capture any hard evidence. Margate's Theatre Royal clearly enjoys a plethora of ghost stories, many of which are corroborated by witnesses still living today. But the ghost detectives found little scientific evidence this time. However, nothing can explain these extraordinary events. Go down. You must, you must stay down. Sit. Down. Sit down. Uh, it, it, it tried to kill me. 